Right, well, I hope everyone's enjoying the um, workshop so far. Right, let's get started. Oops, did you just recap? Oh, okay, excellent. So, great. So, hi everyone. Um, here's a, a quick whirlwind tour of a video uh, to introduce you to a platform that we've developed as an informal learning assessment environment. Um, it can be customized uh, to act as a playful alternative to formalized testing, but still allows us to ascertain to what extent, you know, if any, uh, participant learning has occurred um, during a workshop or any other informally assessed learning uh, event or environment. What we have is an informal environment for learning assessment. So what this really means that we do assessment through games, so not tests, uh, which means it's fun and there's no stress. Uh, we designed a game with a purpose or a serious game to be used at times when we want to measure whether learning has occurred, but giving learners or participants standardized tests is just not an option uh, for one reason or another. The, um, the platform itself consists of upper level, level riddles and subsequent sub games which players must solve in order to release clues that will help them solve the original upper level riddle. Since they are fully customizable and created by you, you don't even have to use riddles, you could just use regular questions. Although you may agree that the riddles, which to be honest are often sort of cringeworthy puns, help to promote this sense of playfulness about the assessment. There are three different types of subgame. There is the quiz, the tagger, and the multiple connector. And we will look at each of these in turn coming up next. First up is the quiz. Now, the quiz is your box standard, straightforward, multiple choice questionnaire. As game creator, you will set a number of wrong answers alongside the correct ones. And then the player is presented with this list from which they must choose the right one. You can limit how many opportunities the player has to answer the question and you can also set a timer. The second type of subgame is called the tagger and in this players have a short amount of time to insert tag words about the image that you've uploaded as a part of the game. Now, as game creator, you have the power, um, sorry, <laughs> to determine not just the image the players will be tagging, but also the keywords which you determine to be the most relevant and most correct in the context of your workshop or whatever learning environments that you have set before the session. The third and final subgame is called the multiple connector. In this game, players are presented with these two columns of words and they've been put in scrambled order. So your task is to reorder the list so that the pairs match up perfectly. This is perhaps the most time consuming to make, but the most rewarding to play. The platform imposes few limits on the creators of the games, so you are free to use it in any content that you find useful for your particular assessment and tailor it to the content of your particular workshop. And we also took a leaf out of the book of some successful citizen science projects, and we've included features such as a ranking table, which can be used to promote playful competition amongst the participants. And you can also watch a video, which has been narrated by my colleague Bernardo, which describes both the processes of playing and of creating the games using our prototype platform called Treasure Explorers. The, uh, the video is available on YouTube, there is the link, and the game itself is also live and available in four languages. It's English, Spanish, Portuguese, and Finnish, um, if you would like to give them a go. And uh, to be honest, I mean, that's it. Thanks you, thank you all for listening. I hope you've enjoyed this really short and fast presentation. Um, if you'd like to read more about some of the work that we've been carried out using the platform, then have a look at these recent publications. And uh, we're also happy to chat to any of you and answer any questions. So uh, do drop us a line. We look forward to hearing from anyone who would be interested in using the platform. Thanks.